I look good. I mean, really good. Hey, everyone! Come and see how good I look! Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of a new game. A game that I'm excited for. I can't believe this is about to roll off my lips. Pay attention and listen. A mobile game that is being ported to PC that is actually worth playing. A game that you can get behind. A game that isn't pay to win. A game that might actually be a good ARPG. We're not talking about Diablo Immortal. Basically everything Diablo Immortal wanted to be, but actually done right. And that is Torch Light Infinite. Now, before we get into the article, before I tell you about the game, before I break down why this game is going to be special, I want to show you the new trailer for it. I want you to focus on the loot drops. I want you to focus on the combat. More importantly, I want you to watch the pace. Enjoy Torch Light Infinite. Now, obviously, everybody is entitled to their opinion. I know some people that just don't play Torchlight games because they've never liked the visual style. Obviously, this game falls into Torchlight. That's why it's kind of got a little bit of that core cartoony visuals. Now, I will tell you from that trailer, the game looks excellent. Also, I will tell you. I've already played it and it's a really fun game. They did an excellent job. It feels so refreshing to play a game where it's not focused on getting you to spend as much money as possible. Let's actually create a good game and then maybe people will want to give you money. We are on the website, MMORPG.com. Title of this article, Torchlight Infinite opens initial mobile pre-registrations promising more info on PC version this month. And by the way, when you go to their website, which is linked in the description, uh, it will say Android a lot, but there will be a pre-registration button for iOS as well, okay? Also this game, is being launched on PC. It, I'm hoping they do a better job, which I'm sure they will, than Blizzard. So again, designed for mobile, ported to PC, but hopefully we get a really good port so the UI and everything functions correctly. But I haven't, I haven't been able to see that yet. The upcoming game features a series of playable heroes, each with their own traits and access to over, listen to this, 50 talent notes, which will let you play your way. This is in addition to the more than, ready for it, 200 skills that will be available in the game and over 230 pieces of legendary gear. Developer XD is looking to give the customization and flexibility Torchlight fans enjoy while making the continuation soft reboot for mobile and PC. Okay, now I will say like, even though the game is fun and it's great, if it was only available for mobile, 
yeah, I'm at the airport, I'm doing whatever, sure, I'll probably play it. But the fact is that every game like this needs a PC port, and I think they recognize that. For a long time, it was like, is this game only going to be mobile? Is it only going to be mobile? Kind of like Diablo Immortal, right? And then you get a PC port. Again, I'm just hoping the PC port is great. The RPG is being developed by a team that includes veterans of other franchises and titles like Diablo, Path of Exile, and naturally, Torchlight, with the emphasis on customization, story, and more. Multiplayer is also a key part of the experience, and there will also be full cross-play. Other plans include a season-based system for new content and additional releases on all supported platforms. So you guessed it. You know, it feels like every ARP, like, PoE has changed the world when it comes to ARPGs. It's like you're required now to do this, you know, the season, the cycle, the league content to refresh, keep people engaged, and give them new content. So I, I'm not... I can go either way. If it's a character I'm going to work on for years and I'm trying to get him, you know, to level 100, kind of like D2 original style, or if it's PoE where I'm playing leagues, either way, I'm okay with it, as long as it does not have pay-to-win mechanics and each league gives me something unique. Those are my big asks. That's the video. This is going, this is a pretty short video because I'm going to be making another video soon on Torchlight Infinite because they're going to give us more information at the end of July on their PC port. So hopefully we'll, we'll see what that looks like. Hopefully we'll see some gameplay. Hopefully we see the UI. So that video will be coming in the future. Now, the way I'm going to close this video is by showing you some gameplay. Obviously, the trailer is all done, but let's actually see what some gameplay looks like. I'm going to do that for you in a second. Now, before I do that, I have two asks for you at the end of this video. I'm hoping one is you will push that little red button. We just passed 19,000 subs. We're pretty close to it, and our goal is 20,000 by the end of this year. So if you think I deserve it, I'm hoping today is the day you push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. My second ask is check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 41 members that have signed up. It is the best way to support me moving into the future financially. You get direct access to me through the VIP lounge on the Discord. You get a special title. You get our weekly blog, and you get our weekly podcast. Lots of good stuff. I'm done talking. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Enjoy some gameplay for Torchlight Infinite.